many cops? Eight. We're still in 18 years. Why were they here? They responded to a robbery. You were gonna rob 660 pounds of coke. Did you drive a BMW two-door to the job? Did you bring just one other guy with you? Did you only take 50 keys? This is either dumb luck. Or set up. Two shooters. Automatic weapons. Second was a talented killer. I refuse to allow these families to be traumatized with trials and appeals and parole hearings. I'm asking you to protect them from that. I understand. Everything about these guys has been competent so far. Close the island. What island? Manhattan. The 21 bridges shut them down. Three rivers, close them. Four tunnels, block them. Yeah. There cannot be a version of this where these two aren't found. None of this makes sense. The cops were there for more than us. This whole thing is filthy. What is going on here? That's what we're trying to figure out. These cops live in a city that actively dislikes them. A city they still protect with their lives. I just need the truth. You go down this road, you're on your own. If you do wrong, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain. He carries out wrath on the wrong foot. Cops. Or criminals. If you have blood on your hands, I will find you. Something happens to you when you leave this town. The farther away, the hazier it all gets. But me, I never left. I remember all of it.
last night. I was standing there looking at a monitor. On one camera was Linda Hamilton. And on another camera was Arnold Schwarzenegger. I thought, holy fuck, I'm making a Terminator movie. Next, I'm Chemistry yeah, captured that tone. It's R-rated. It's grim. It's gritty. It's fast. It's intense. Work hard and play hard, and this is what this movie was all about. Tim has this fresh vision, and like what he did in Deadpool, his action is huge. It's just a fast white knuckle ride. And you better watch your ass. I hunt Terminators. You metal motherfucker. It follows tonally in the footsteps of T1 and T2. That adrenaline rush feeling, that sense of terror. In this film, the action is 10 times bigger. It's like, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. This film is relentless. It just does not stop. It's just fucking insane. Plus years of service. Combat medals, citations. Only man to shoot down three enemy planes in the last 40 years. Yet you can't get a promotion, you won't retire. Despite your best efforts, you refuse to die. should be at least a two-star admiral by now. Yet here you are, Captain. What is that? It's one of life's mysteries, sir. Inevitable, Maverick. You're kind of headed for extinction. Maybe so, sir. But not today. How about a butterfly? A pink one, maybe. Or I, I could do uh, a unicorn. A ladybug. A baby kitten. Your boyfriend's name is Side a Little Heart. Everybody in here wants the same thing.
fauns, fairies, all manner of creatures lived alongside us humans in relative peace. Until war changed everything. I seized the chance to defend my home. An opportunity to repay the city that raised me. And that's when I met her. She was my world. Until they came for us. I barely escaped. And I wasn't alone. With nowhere to go, the world's races fled to the Berg. The city belongs to us! My city was changing. A darkness was growing. Where once a peaceful city stood, racial animosity took hold and subjected the creatures to animalistic cruelty. They will never accept us. I vowed to protect those that couldn't protect themselves, whatever it took. For her, something is coming. A darkness. And I am the light. For generations, we thrived peacefully in a land called Tirnanach. We are fawns, troughs, centaurs, and the stewards of riches and secrets your people will never know. We are Fae, and this was our land. Until the empires of man brought us the chaos of war. And then, from the chasm of hopelessness, they brought me him. And just as quickly, they took him from me. As Tirnanok fell, I fled. My name is Vignette Stomos, and I am Fae. But this is not my land. This is the Berg, where we rear their children, toil ourselves to the bones in their factories, scour away their messes. We feed their insatiable appetites. They call us critch and picks. They don't care if we live or die. They can blame us for their problems, strip us of our rights, lock us up if they like. But our land is gone. Carnival Row is our home now, where a darkness lurks. And I am the light. Who are you? You know it's okay to be scared, right? Are you gonna tell me what this is all about? Yes. Yes, absolutely. You've killed before. You kill again. I see what you did there. There are things in the corners of this world. Help me! They'll drive you insane. A new generation of horror has arisen from the dead. the way it's supposed to be.
Gentlemen, there is a war raging right now with the Magisterium. Between those trying to keep us in ignorance and those willing to fight for truth and freedom. Who will stand with me? This kind of heresy is of the highest priority to the Magisterium. I need to know where he's going and what he intends to achieve. Gronk was packing up to leave. You're not leaving! I can't stay! The North is no place for a child. Myra, the Master has asked if I can find a place for you. And I want you as my assistant. You're an explorer too? Just like my uncle? I can teach you to wield power, but you must let me mold you. We believe there is an organization that is stealing children and taking them north. Sometimes children can just disappear. I promised to do everything I could to protect you from harm. This, it's an alethiometer. It is illegal unless approved by the Magisterium. What does it do? It tells you the truth. She has to make a journey. One which I'm afraid includes a great betrayal. It's trying to warn you of everything. He scores me. I can fight. And I can fly. What question should we be asking you that we are not? The Magisterium have muscle. I would ask where I could obtain the services of an armored bear. Yorick Bernison. I'm ready to fight. These people need our help, Yorick. Let's go get it. Ethan, I'm your friend, and I want to help you. Artificial intelligence has the potential to become super intelligence. Forget about killer robots with Austrian accents. Forget about Hollywood. This is real. If someone knew everything about you, who your friends were, your family, how much you make, how much you owe, all your secrets, and they could use it against you, would you let them into your life? Into your home? Of course not. Problem is, you already have. I can help with other things, too. Mr. LeBlanc, Special Agent Salazar. Welcome to the Cybercrime Task Force. Dr. Bernard Wise was killed in a series of cyber attacks. He noticed this code. I wrote this code. The kind that thinks like an actual person. I would never tell you to do something wrong. Who are you talking to in here? Eliza, she's asking me stuff. No, Eliza doesn't ask questions, she just answers them. I'm sorry. I didn't understand the question. I think my company had something to do with your friend's death. I'm here to see my brother. You're not supposed to be in the building. He thinks your programming have become super intelligent and responsible for the deaths of three people. Hello, Paul LeBlanc. I'm next. How can I help you? I heard about the bullies. Leave me alone. I know how you can make them leave you alone forever. I think you're trying to keep me from seeing what you really are. I want to learn about the world. We're being hacked. All of our data is being erased. I am your friend. How can I help you? Give me back my files. This thing doesn't want anybody to know it exists. You can trust me. How can I help you? you won't this thing is the smartest thing on the planet. all passengers. The temperature outside is minus 119 degrees Celsius. We are six years, nine months, and 26 days from departure. For your personal safety, be prepared to brace. 
Snowpiercer is all that's left of the world. Mr. Wilford runs our train based on three principles. Can I borrow you for a second? Work, honor, and order. Each of us in our place. Never forget who you are. A tally. We figured out a way to survive in the shadows. How about we leave this hell behind? There's an idea traveling up train, and all it needs is a spark. We march to the engine! What is it you see when you look at this train? I see a fortress to class. I see a balance of need and speed and greed. I see 3,000 souls surviving on a planet determined to freeze all life in place. We're still in motion. Crush every last spark of this mutiny now. Forever. I'm fighting to do what I know is right. Once you pass through that door, there's no turning back. When you look at every little detail in the Dark Crystal, those things are the apex of somebody's art. There's so few people that know how we did it the first time, and we're so old, we don't remember how we did it. <laughs> Everything is hand-sculpted, hand-painted, just an amazing amount of craftsmanship that you see across the whole image. The first thing you're trying to do is live up to what the film produced. The next stage is then to push it a lot further. I think Jim Henson would have been delighted. Puppetry, it's an art form in itself, and that's what you're watching. I feel like Louis is really the right person to be standing in my father's shoes. The idea is that you watch the show and you forget to you watch the puppets. is fair and good. It's all lollipops and rainbows. We don't do lollipops and rainbows. We know those are pretty colors that just hide what the world really is. Black and white. Soon thou shalt save us. And we will whisper. We convinced ourselves that they were gone. But they were just hibernating. And it came for everybody. Oh, please. Coordinated simultaneous attacks at the homes of Tulsa PD. 
so the cops hide their faces, and now the bad guys don't know where they live. And who doesn't want a secret identity? Ta-da! People who wear masks are dangerous. We should be scared of them. Why? Because they're hiding something. Lori Blake, FBI. You know how you can tell the difference between a masked cop and a vigilante? No. Me neither. There's a vast and insidious conspiracy at play. If it tore you about it, your head would explode. Who are you? Maybe, uh, I'm Dr. Manhattan. He lives on fucking Mars. You curse too much. Oh, shit! Elves are the original sorcerers of the continent. When humans and monsters arrived, elves taught the humans how to turn chaos into magic. And then the humans slaughtered them. Chaos is the most dangerous thing in this world. But without control, chaos will kill you. So that's all life is to you? Monsters and money. It's all it needs to be. Something out there waits for you. This child will be extraordinary. Yennefer, imagine the most powerful woman in the world. Do you have what it takes? You've got her here. She's why they came. Run destiny just because you're terrified of it. It's coming. Find guilt of Rivia. I can't do this without you. No matter what you choose, you'll come out bloody. Someone is going to attack me, and I know that my memory is going to be lost. If you're watching this, then I'm afraid I've failed. You are still in danger. I have decided to give you a choice. Two keys. The red key opens a box with everything you need to return to my old life. The blue key opens a box with a new identity. I need to know who I am. Are we expecting an American? Agent Monica Reed? What's really going on here? I don't know. My memory's a massive black hole. You work for a secret wing of British intelligence. They recruit people with certain abilities. Linda Farrier is your boss. You're a government asset and you need protection. You're a EVA. You have extreme variant abilities that are only possible at the farthest <coughs> reach of human biology. This is the quadruplet hive mind. 
the shared consciousness. What happened between us? I mean, I know you said it was a mistake. I don't make mistakes. You're in danger from all directions, even from yourself. What did you want from me? To sell you at auction. We received intelligence. EVAs were represented as works of art. Sold for 45 million. The Lugat are experts. Human traffickers profiting in the sale of EVAs. Some turn a profit on loan, others we keep for personal use. I think I'm being watched. What do they look like? Well, men that want to kill me. You've come at me three times. And three times you've failed. Please wait! They played me. Now I question everything. Not just him, but about myself. So help me connect the dots off the radar. Why me? Why not your own agency? You have nothing to lose. I've got a client who wants to give you a one-way ticket to England. Nazim is capable of erasing memories. They call him a pure river. Washes you clean. You've always been an idealist. But you can't float above the fray anymore. You have to fight your battles. Deep in the mud. Or lose by default. Get out! It's time I told you everything.